Jackal 2. Jackal 2 is a high mobility weapons platform with a unique airbag suspension system allowing rapid movement across varying terrain by raising or lowering the air suspension. It partially equips the light cavalry regiments of the Royal Armoured Corps. Maximum speed of 80 miles per hour on roads or 55 miles per hour over rough terrain. It is designed to protect personnel against the roadside explosions and mine attacks. It is armed with a general purpose machine gun or GPMG for crew protection, operated by the commander at the front. On top, it can carry either a 7.62mm GPMG, a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, or a 40mm grenade machine gun as the main weapon system in the fire support role. Today, it is fitted with a heavy machine gun. Jackal 2 is closely related to the Coyote tactical support vehicle, the six-wheeled Jackal-based variant. The Jackal 2 is used for reconnaissance, rapid assault, fire support and convoy protection. Jackal has the capacity to support itself and its crew of three for over 500 miles. Today the commander is Mr. Dennis, one of the civilian staff of ATDU. The gunner is Lance Corporal Rata Kurlovi and it is being driven by Mr. Joins, all from the ATDU here at Bobbington. Scimitar 2, ladies and gentlemen, coming in in its desert colours. The original Alvis CVRT, or Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance Track Scimitar, came into service in 1971 and is still in service now, which means that in some cases, three generations of soldiers from one family have served on the same scimitars. During the last 46 years, Scimitar has served in the British Army as a reconnaissance and fighting vehicle in the Falklands War, peacekeeping in Bosnia and Kosovo, and of course, both Gulf Wars in Iraq, and most recently in Afghanistan. 2010, a contract was awarded for the development, testing and management of an upgraded Scimitar 2 standard version. This was undertaken by BAE Systems, which coordinated the build of 50 new Scimitar 2 vehicles. These were completed in 2012. The Scimitar Mark II combat vehicle was rehulled to give better mine blast protection for troops, plus improved armor to enhance blast and ballistic protection. It also provides mine protected shock absorbing seating in every crew position all of which will extend its in-service life. The weight is now 12 metric tons as opposed to 8 tons for Scimitar 1. Scimitar 2's low ground pressure and still small size make it useful where the terrain is hostile and movement is difficult. It carries a 30mm rod and cannon for self-defence. Secondary armament is a coaxially mounted 7.62mm GPMG. Multi-barrel smoke grenade dischargers are also fitted to enable instant smoke screening. It is used by the armoured cavalry regiments of the Royal Armoured Corps and also by recce elements of the armoured infantry and main battle tank regiments. A Cummins 5.9 litre, 190 horsepower diesel engine replaces the original Jaguar 4.2 litre petrol engine fitted in Scimitar 1. Maximum speed is 50 miles per hour. Scimitars though will be replaced once the new Ajax vehicle comes into service. There's not a lot of room in a Scimitar, so the crew is three. Part today is Corporal Oliver, the driver is Lance Corporal Underhill, both from the ATDU. These two vehicles are part of the lead cavalry battle group. 
tasked with detecting enemy activity along a known main supply route. This reconnaissance group is some distance in front of the main body of friendly forces and will provide early warning of enemy activity. The recce group hears tracked vehicle noise in the distance and it is assessed that it is getting closer. Hello, Zero. This is India 13 Bravo. Tracked vehicle noise to the west of my location. Approximately three to four vehicles, which are assessed to be an enemy combat recce patrol. Over. Zero. Roger. Out. The recce group identifies enemy reconnaissance vehicles on the main supply route one kilometre to the west. But they have now been detected themselves and enemy fire begins to fall close to their position. Hello, what's in answer? This is Index 3 Bravo. Contact enemy recce. Wait out. Having done their job, the reconnaissance group rapidly extracts before they become decisively engaged.